Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Luzi Mekamberi, and I am an associate professor at the University of Tetova, North Macedonia. The presentation on the topic, the rapid shift from on-site to online teaching student uh, perceptions is a study that we have conducted, myself, Luzi Mekamberi, at the University of Tetovo and my colleague Alina Andrea Draguesi Urlika from the University King Michael I of Romania. The background of the study, why did we conduct the study? With the rapid shift from on-site to online teaching caused by the pandemic at the beginning of 2020 was a real burden to institutions among which universities around the globe. Staff and students were left in a limbo state, often with no crucial assistance because there was no time for training or preparation. Thus, teachers around the globe, apart from the pedagogical constraints like teaching approaches, activities, interaction and assessment, have also been dealing with student psychosocial factors such as lack of attendance, not turning cameras on when attending and lack of motivation which led to the assumption that their economical situation, financial issues, devices for attending classes, facilities, among others, were some reasons for their behavior. Likewise, the University of Tetovo in North Macedonia, an Eastern European country, and the, King, the University King Michael I of Romania, a Western European one, have faced the same difficulties. Now, the switch now, we all of us are missing the classroom, the traditional classroom, which we have here and the, the new one attendance, online attendance with our students. Even from the pictures, we can see the differences. We can see the differences students in different positions, but these students have at least their cameras on. Now uh, at the University of Petovo, um, classes, um, have been uh, conducted using Google Classroom, while at the university in Romania, King Michael I, using Zoom. The foundation for this paper. Uh, the recent developments caused by the pandemic as a consequence of the coronavirus SARS-19 have forced universities around the globe to the urgent shift from on-site to online teaching. This was a new situation for all parties involved, teachers and students. In what ways they managed to overcome the situation is questionable. While some more modernized ones, like the, those of Western countries, were presumably more prepared as they are more technologically advanced, others, like Eastern European ones, are less. Trying to explore students' perceptions and experiences during this endeavor, the study has used semi-structured interviews to reveal the, their involvement. Similar to Neuwirth et al.'s, study, um, which was conducted at the University of New York, the State University of New York in the United States in the year 2020. The study has addressed various psychosocial factors such as access to internet, equipment, facilities, and family, and the immediate need for student online attendance etiquette during the pandemic. The methodology. The aim of the study, as uh, was stated earlier, was to explore learner perceptions and experiences during this endeavor at the University of Tetovo and the University of King Michael I in Romania. Another aim is to analyze the similarities and, and differences be between these two contexts. Research questions. Based on our professional teaching interests and informed by the emerging findings of various literature reviews, uh, from studies around the globe, the research questions addressed in this study include what are the challenges students have faced in adapting to the online delivery of the curriculum? What are the similarities and differences between the two study contexts? The participants of the study. The preliminary study reported in this paper was undertaken with 16 L2 learners, each from each university, eight each from uh, university, during the first semester of the academic year 2020-2021. Data collection and analysis. Qualitative data has been collected using student semi-structured interviews. 
Content analysis based on Silverman 2005 has been applied to identify themes, biases, and meaning, by which the study investigated learners' perceptions on the issues they encountered during the switch from traditional classroom-based teaching to online delivery. The results. Initial results from the study suggest that participants from both universities faced many difficulties in their venture, among others, lack of training, lack of technological support, lack of skills and facilities at home. However, using various strategies and effective planning and organization, they managed to a certain extent to overcome this situation. Results. The first three questions relating to the possessed device, place, and type of device used for attending classes revealed some similarities and differences among the two study groups. For example, all students but one from Romania reported to attend classes from home. Just one from Romania claimed to attend classes from work. And the majority by using their phones because that is the available device. Further, two respondents from North Macedonia affirmed to have a laptop in the house, but report having issues with siblings needing the device at the same time. One stating, for example, usually I attend classes from my laptop, but there are cases when my sister needs it, so I attend from my phone also. And another claiming I usually attend from my laptop, but occasionally from my phone when my siblings need to use my laptop for their classes. Only one affirming, most of the time from my personal computer, because it makes me feel like I am really attending the class because from my iPhone, I don't feel so comfortable. These responses indicate that there is lack of devices among bigger families, thus the, the available solution is the personal phones. Another important issue the study revealed is that the majority of the students from North Macedonia attend classes from the living room because of the winter semester and the heating issues. As one student asserted, I attend from the living room when it is cold because that is the warm room of the house and sometimes it is loud because other family members are in the same room. When it is warm, I attend from my room. Similarly, only one student from Romania stressed lack of space as an issue. However, uh, it was um, not, um, not continued with the, with the reason why. Likewise, both groups reported issues with the internet at one point or another during this period of time. It appears that social factors have an enormous impact on online teaching and learning. One of the most controversial questions appears to be one asking students whether students and teachers should have their cameras on during classes. While all Romanian students prefer their teachers to have cameras open, and over 54% support the idea for students as well, their counterparts from North Macedonia seem to be divided. The majority of the respondents stated that it is the teacher's personal choice by justifying their claim with the students not having the cameras on. Only a few opting for cameras on. One student affirmed, I think teachers should have their cameras on during the classes because I myself sometimes feel like I'm, I'm in the classroom when I can see and hear the professor at the same time. It helps me to get concentrated on the lesson talk. Another continuing to support this idea stated, yes, I think because when I see the teacher on the cam with the camera on, I am more focused in the classes and in any way. And in any way, I can learn things much better. I don't know why, but in this way, I am more and more focused. And when I don't see teachers on the cameras, sometimes I don't take the classes very seriously. This is probably a statement of concern for teachers from North Macedonia. Turning on their cameras would support comprehension based on students' responses. Referring to students and, and their cameras, interestingly, both groups had the same opinion, being certain that it was a personal choice. Only one student from each group believed that they should be on because it helps to communicate better with one another, not just the teacher. The reason for their choices were the reasons for their choices were justified with concerns of privacy by both respondent groups. 
As one student from North Macedonia asserted, I do not want people to see my house. What another from Romania stressing, no, I wish to protect the privacy of my home. Responses imply that privacy is very important to both contexts. Privacy was perceived as a very important factor by both groups. With regard to other difficulties like technological, financial, psychological, there are some similarities and differences also. Generally speaking, the majority have had no difficulties with Google Meet or, Zoom, or the Zoom platform, with only two asserting, I had to figure out myself how things worked on the, on the online classroom. Further, a quarter of them claimed to have experienced anxiety, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. Others have faced financial difficulties at some point during, during this crisis. Therefore, um, we can assume that psychological and social factors should be taken into account by institutions and teachers. Now, um, another issue was, um, another issue was uh, family and, and, and friends. So um, the last, the final question was related to what was related to um, if, if students have anything to add with regard to this situation. So the majority claimed uh, um, increased appreciation of life, health, and family. Uh, family are the result of this situation. The pandemic has affected me and my family in different areas in healthcare. I do care more about my health and other members of my family, save more money, be more positive about life and unpleasant experiences or situations, take care of hygiene of the house and my personal hygiene as well. All of them miss the classroom a lot and sharing with colleagues, among others. They felt that learning was not the same in, as in the classroom. The classroom was a better place for learning because you can share and learn from each other. Appreciation, security issues, hygiene, classroom ecology, and mutual support are some other important issues that have come up in this study of this difficult period of time. Now, what to conclude? Um, considering the small number of participants, sample size is recognized as a substantial barrier to meaningful interpretation of the data from this study to this point. Financial issues, lack of space, and psychological concerns are the main worries to be addressed in further studies. Neuwirth et al. study in, that was conducted at the University of New York called for an urgent online etiquette and this should be considered by all universities, by all institutions. Applying needs analysis with their students as suggested by Ellis and Barkusen in 2005 with the aim of identifying and responding to their students' needs and expectations should be uh, considered by, by teachers. Research designs conducted over an extended period of time with a larger sample including teachers to confirm factors potentially affecting the outcome of online teaching. The aspects identified in this paper seem likely to shed light on future pedagogical concerns and approaches. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to, um, to ask. <laughs>